And next, my favorite kind of story in life is the kind that reminds us that we are nowhere near as close to as smart as we think we are. And oh boy, does this next one do exactly that. You know that golden telescope we humans built uh, that's taking some mind-blowing pictures of space right now? Well, it turns out it's so powerful, it might have just shattered our understanding of the universe. What if a single star challenged everything we know about the age of the universe? The James Webb Space Telescope has just revealed findings that are challenging our previous understanding in some truly unexpected ways. Using its powerful infrared instruments, JWST has uncovered evidence that implies the universe itself may be much older than our current scientific models suggest. Specifically, astronomers have identified a distant star whose apparent age exceeds the calculated 13.8 billion year age of the universe, based on our standard Big Bang theory. Additionally, JWST has found several ancient galaxies that, according to how we have modeled the early evolution of the cosmos, should not even exist yet at those early epochs. How can a star be older than the universe itself? And how could vast galaxies have already formed so soon after the hypothesized Big Bang? These are questions that have astronomy researchers scratching their heads. Let's take a closer look at this perplexing new discovery by JWST. To understand the significance of this new discovery, let's first review how astronomers have traditionally estimated the age of the universe. For nearly a century now, scientists have employed two primary methods to date the cosmos. The first involves using observational evidence that the universe is in a state of ongoing expansion since the hypothesized Big Bang event around 13.8 billion years ago. By measuring the speeds at which distant galaxies are receding from our own via the redshift phenomenon, where light from moving objects is stretched to longer wavelengths, astronomers have calculated the expanding rate over time. Working backward allows them to date the inferred moment when all matter would have theoretically been together at the beginning. The second major dating technique examines the oldest surviving stars, which formed fairly soon after the Big Bang from the primordial hydrogen and helium in the early universe. By analyzing the remaining proportions of various chemical elements in these ancient stars, and modeling how long it takes them to transition between stages of stellar evolution, astrophysicists estimate the minimum age of different stellar populations. This provides another anchor point to data on the overall universe. Bringing these approaches together has led cosmologists to largely converge around an age of approximately 13.8 billion years for the universe as we understand it based on the influential lambda cold dark matter theoretical model, still the standard framework today. I am a professor of physics and astronomy here at the University of Michigan, where I study observational cosmology. Observational cosmology has had a really great 15 years because we now really know the basic history of the universe from the Big Bang all the way down to today. It's been observed repeatedly, it's very well understood. But there remain some big mysteries, and I'll tell you about just four important mysteries that remain in cosmology. The first has to do with the very earliest moments of the Big Bang. Everyone wants to know what was there before the Big Bang. Was there anything there before the Big Bang? How did it happen? Why did the Big Bang happen? What initiated it? Those are very difficult questions. We don't have much observational evidence about them, but everyone will always be fascinated by them. The next two big questions have to do with constituents of the universe, with stuff that's in the universe. There are two big mystery components to the universe. The first is called dark matter, and dark matter is a kind of material, uh, a substance, that seems to be very widespread through the universe. There's more of it than there is ordinary matter, the kinds of atoms that we're made of. And it seems to be um, something that interacts gravitationally, but never interacts with light. The other mysterious component of the universe is something that seems to be causing accelerated expansion. The expansion rate of the universe used to be slower than it is today. It's actually speeding up with time. We really have no idea what's causing it to, to speed up like that, what's causing accelerated expansion. But we've given a name to it, even though we don't really know what it is. We call it dark energy. 
So dark matter and dark energy are both very mysterious aspects of cosmology that we're hoping to understand. However, the findings from JWST are throwing serious doubt onto this compact cosmological timeline. But more on that later. First, let's discuss the discovery itself. It was during JWST's very first observational campaigns in mid-2023 that astronomers got their first hint something unexpected was out there. While targeting some of the oldest and furthest galaxies yet seen in the early universe, the telescope's sophisticated infrared instruments detected not one but six galaxies that appeared remarkably advanced for their time. Dubbed the impossible galaxies, they were analyzed to have existed a mere 300 million years after the hypothesized Big Bang. Yet through a spectroscopic study of their star formation histories and composition, scientists estimated these galaxies had the stellar mass and complexity of structures typically found in galaxies billions of years later in the universe's development. One galaxy stood out with a rate of new star birth that shocked researchers, churning them out at around 100 times the mass of our sun each year. For context, the most prolific star factories today pale in comparison. But the most astonishing finding came when JWST trained its mirrors on a single ancient star within one of these galaxies. Located within a small dwarf galaxy over 13 billion light years away, astronomers designated the star as HD1. However, intricate modeling of its spectral signature implied an incredible age over 13.5 billion years old. This meant if our standard cosmology is correct, HD1 was already 200 million years old just after the proposed beginning of everything. How could any star or galaxy exist before the entire universe? Clearly, something was amiss. Either our scientific framework had a major hole or a revolutionary new revelation about the cosmos was uncovered by the eagle-eyed James Webb Space Telescope. Let's examine the implications of this cosmic conundrum. You can imagine the astonishment among astronomers as they realize the profound implications of these JWST findings. On the surface, it seemed impossible how could any structures already be in place so soon after the hypothesized beginnings of the Big Bang? Under the standard cosmological model, the universe at that early age, 13 billion years ago, should have been a nearly featureless sea of hot plasma, with only the most basic atoms just starting to form out of the initial subatomic particles. Clumping of the initial dark matter was only just beginning to occur. According to our simulations of structure formation, galaxies were thought unlikely to properly coalesce until hundreds of millions of years later as matter gradually accumulated into the gravity wells created by dark matter halos. The buildup of enough stellar populations and heavier elements to imply ages over 13 billion years was deemed simply implausible so early in the post-Big Bang universe. The idea of lone stars roaming outside galaxies was equally hard to reconcile, as the standard scenarios predicted stars should have taken shape primarily within growing clusters. Yet HD1 was apparently older than the entirety of space-time and even the Big Bang itself. So the question pressing on everyone's minds was if the well-tested theory that had shaped our understanding for decades was correct. How could any astronomical object predate or evolve more rapidly than what the Big Bang allowed for? What could explain this conundrum and potential rewrite of history that Webb's lens had uncovered? To address this apparent paradox, astronomers turned to new theoretical work. One of the leading figures seeking to solve this cosmic mystery is Professor Renu Malhotra Gupta from the University of Ottawa. Building upon earlier ideas, Gupta put forth two revolutionary hypotheses. First, she resurrected the tired light theory originally proposed in the 1920s by astronomer Fritz Zwicky. This suggestion is that the redshift effect we observe in distant galaxies may not purely be due to the expansion of space, but also to photons gradually losing energy as they travel through the immense voids of the universe over billions of years. If true, it could mean redshift has overestimated how far away, and thus old, some galaxies truly are. 
The light from HD1 and others may not have traveled 13 billion years, after all. This alone could alleviate some of the tension with the star and galaxy's apparent advanced ages. But Gupta took things further by reviving the novel idea that fundamental physical constants like the strengths of interactions between particles may vary over time as the universe evolved. Her model proposes these constants were significantly different in the extreme conditions shortly after the Big Bang. If forces like electromagnetism or gravity were more powerful back then, it could help explain why the early universe appears to have developed much faster than current theories allow, with HD1 and other structures forming more quickly and massively than standard models predict. In fact, with changing constants, Gupta calculates the universe may be closer to 26.7 billion years old, nearly twice the commonly used estimate of 13.8 billion years. Could our cosmology have been off by over half? Webb's discoveries seem to give her theory credence. In the months since the Impossible Galaxy announcement, JWST has continued surveying the early cosmos, making an even more compelling case for Professor Gupta's hypotheses. Deep observation programs targeting some of the faintest stretches of the infrared sky have turned up numerous additional galaxies from the first few hundred million years. One of the most striking finds was a grouping of at least a dozen compact but well-organized galaxies observed from only 200 million years after the proposed Big Bang. Displaying clear spiral and elliptical structures, worlds of star formation, and signs of mature stellar populations, astrophysicists were stunned by their advanced morphology so soon after the supposed dawn of the universe. What's more, spectral analysis revealed another astonishing trait. These primordial galaxies were emitting colossal amounts of ultraviolet radiation, the type of energetic output associated with very massive, hot stars. In some cases, astronomers measured ultraviolet luminosity over 10 times higher than cosmological models deemed plausible for galaxies of that early era. Even more perplexing, follow-up observations have found such hyperluminous objects seem more common the farther back in time JWST peers. To Gupta, these new discoveries mesh perfectly with her revised picture of the early universe operating under different physical rules. With such compelling evidence accumulating, astronomical laboratories around the world are now feverishly analyzing JWST observations through the lens of Gupta's perspective-altering hypotheses. At the forefront is modeling how variations in fundamental forces may have accelerated the early universe using advanced radiation transport simulations. By tweaking parameters like the strengths of gravity and electromagnetism within the simulation environment spanning billions of years, scientists hope to recreate astronomical phenomena like anomalous galaxy formations, intense starbursts, and other traits that so far defy standard cosmology. If they can demonstrate Gupta's evolving constants theory naturally leads to early universe conditions, replicating JWST's surreal imagery, it would lend strong credence to her proposed revisions. There is also the meticulous work of gleaning every nuance from the spectra of the enigmatic star, HD1, and other objects. With exquisite precision spectroscopy techniques, astronomers are now searching for chemical signatures or other spectral line evidence that may confirm unusually advanced ages. Clearly, much remains uncertain and improvements are still needed in our theoretical understanding of galaxy genesis. But if corroborating studies continue aligning with Gupta's model, we may have no choice but to widely accept her argument that our perception of cosmic history demands a dramatic update. The far-reaching implications could compel a re-envisioning of cosmology as profound as when Hubble discovered the universe itself is expanding. If independent research can validate Professor Gupta's hypothesis that fundamental physical rules transformed in the dynamic early cosmos, forcing scientists to double the estimated age of the universe to over 26 billion years, it would shake astronomy to its core. Our entire perspective on the evolution of galaxies, stars, and planetary systems across cosmic time would require complete revision. 
There are still many questions left to answer through ongoing JWST observations and sophisticated simulations. We're getting an understanding from these images of, of just like the deepest questions of all, like, well, how did all this happen? Where did all this begin? Uh, and the, the images have been majestic. Uh, they've been humbling. Mm -hmm. um, and, and as I say, uh, transformative. I mean, something for, for, uh, for true sp space scientists uh, to study, to learn, to share with us, and to give us a greater sense of not only how the universe uh, came into being, but our own place in this universe. And of course, uh, all the deep questions that go with that. But the mere possibility that our sense of history, and even our place in the grand sweep of eternity, may require such a dramatic reevaluation is truly thought provoking. Where we placed our solar system's formation a mere 13.8 billion years after the beginning, it motivates us to wonder what new insights may emerge from confronting age old philosophical questions with this unexpected new data. Only continued research unraveling the deepest wonders uncovered by the Webb telescope will provide the answers. Yet it surely leaves us with a new awareness of just how much remains unknown and how ready nature has shown herself to astonish us when we least expect. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates.